Hey kids, today I'd like you to learn the difference between temporary and permanent magnets. And we've touched upon this a little bit in class when we had our lesson on magnetizing. Um, and I told you that I was able to magnetize a paper clip, a pair of tweezers, uh, and an iron nail. Um, and I told you I was able to magnetize them because they're all ferrous, ferrous objects. They all have iron-like properties and I could uh, make them become or turn them into magnets, but only temporarily. Uh, there is a difference between permanent magnets and temporary magnets. Um, just looking at the visual, you can see that the horseshoe magnet, the bar magnet, and the donut magnets, these are ones you've worked on, uh, worked with in class, and these are permanent magnets. They uh, always have their uh, magnetic power, and they don't lose their magnetic power, and you've been able to use them to pick up other magnets and uh, quite a few paper clips and attract iron filings. You also see these permanent magnets on your fridge, for example, at home. Um, and you've, I'm sure you have some permanent magnets on your desks as well. Next year when you enter middle school, you'll have permanent magnets hanging in your locker probably, holding up uh, pictures and holding up schedules, etc. There is a difference between permanent magnets and temporary magnets. Let's first understand that permanent magnets and temporary magnets are all ferrous objects, okay? They all have iron-like properties. One thing I didn't write down here that the two of these permanent magnets and temporary magnets have in common is um, because they're ferrous objects, they all have north and south poles inside of them. So in these permanent magnets and these temporary magnets, there are north and south poles inside all of these, all of these objects. Because uh, permanent magnets and temporary magnets are all ferrous, they all have iron-like properties, they all have north and south poles in them. So they have two uh, similarities. I'm going to write that here so you can see it with north and south poles. And same thing with the temporary magnets. They're ferrous with north and south poles. That's where the diff that's where the similarities actually stop. Um, if you look at this list, you know you can kind of infer from what we've done in class or the demonstration that I did in class is that um, permanent magnets they don't lose their magnetic power over time. They actually hold their magnetic power for the life of the magnet. There is actually a way, and you can do an experiment later, but um, there is a way for these um, permanent magnets to lose their power. It would take a lot of time for, uh, for you to make a permanent magnet lose its power. You would not have nearly enough time in class, let alone the school year, to be able to do that. Um, temporary magnets, on the other hand, they lose their power after a few moments, and that could be a few seconds, it could be a minute or so. Um, you saw me magnetize a paper clip and the tweezers, and you saw me pick up paper clips with other paper clip with a magnetized paper clip or a magnetized tweezer. But really, they lose that ma magnetic power after a few moments, and they're n they're no longer magnets. Um, in the permanent magnets, the north and south poles are aligned and they face the same direction. And in temporary magnets, the north and south poles are jumbled up and they're not aligned. They all face different directions. Permanent magnets have a stronger magnetic field. Temporary magnets, uh, they have a very small magnetic field and it's a weak magnetic field. And, you know, you saw this in class, actually. You saw the weak magnetic field in class. Um, when I used the magnetized tweezers to pick up paper clips. I could only pick up maybe one, two at the maximum. And uh, they could they could barely held on to those paper clips. That there was not a strong magnetic field. Um, um, and permanent magnets are permanently magnets. They will stay as magnets and they will be able to pick up things for the life of the magnet. And these temporary magnets, they're just they're temporarily magnets and then they just go back to being ferrous objects after their magnetic field uh, wears off. So um, one thing I want you to realize, though, really important, is that both permanent and temporary, they are ferrous. They do have iron-like properties, and they both have north and south poles. The difference is with permanent magnets, they're always magnets for the life of the magnet. And temporary magnets, you know, they, you, because if you think about the word uh, magnetize, that I-Z-E, that I's part, to magnetize, the I's part means to make or to become. So if you theorize, you make a theory, for example. Um, but to magnetize is to make or to become. With, sorry, let's get that out of the way. With temporary magnets, you magnetize them. That's what you're really doing. And uh, I did a visual here. Um, I can take these temporary magnets and I can magnetize them. I can make them become magnets, but only temporarily. 
what I'm going to do here is I'm going to align all the particles. You saw me doing this in class. I'm sweeping uh, this temporary magnet, or what will be a temporary magnet, this paper clip. I'm sweeping this ferrous object. You'll notice the sweeps are done very straight, and that's so that the poles get aligned. I'll show you an image of the poles. I can do that with the tweezers as well. Very straight. I'm trying to line up the poles here, north facing one way, south facing the other way. Okay. Instead of doing like this, if you did this to the uh, ferrous object, all the poles would be jumbled up. That's why I have to sweep them straight and come back up around. Sweep them straight, come back up around like that. Instead of doing that. So if you see a visual here, in the permanent magnet, in the north poles, indicated by the red square, all face the same direction. They all face north. Uh, the south poles. In a permanent magnet, they all face one direction. They all face south. Okay. In a temporary magnet, which is just a ferrous object that has temporarily been magnetized, the north poles, um, they also face north, and they also face south. Um, and you can see this temporary magnet, like a paperclip or a tweezers, that has been temporarily magnetized. The north poles face north. The south poles face south. The thing is this. Take a look at this image. After the temporary magnet loses its magnetic power because it's temporary it just goes back to being a ferrous object and it this is what it looks like so this is a ferrous object like a paperclip tweezers or an iron nail that has not been magnetized and this is a ferrous object like a paperclip tweezers or nail that has been magnetized that is turned into a temporary magnet so you can take a ferrous object like a paperclip tweezers or a nail and you could turn it into a temporary magnet by giving it or making it become a temporary magnet by doing this by aligning those poles from making the north and south poles go from a jumbled kind of uh, position to an to a aligned position but in a permanent magnet this lasts for the life of the magnet forever in a temporary magnet this lasts only a few moments and then it goes back to being like this all right thanks a lot